Have you ever heard the expression men are from Mars and women are from Venus? Contrary to the postmodern way of thinking, there's nothing wrong with that tendency. Men tend to like building things, which is why the majority of STEM students are men. Women tend to like working with people and contrary to the postmodern way of thinking, there's nothing wrong with that tendency. If you're a MGTOW, chances are you're thin. We live in times of insanity when men and women are encouraged to act as if they belong to the opposite gender, because by doing that they can beat social norms and the patriarchy. The deplorable results are evident. Women are becoming more combative and intolerable, and men are becoming weaker. Today I'm going to share with you some of the reasons why modern women especially dislike modern men. Even though at the end of the day most women, unless they have genocentrism as their religion or they're into other women, and strong masculine men read strong leaders and not followers and despised weak, you're probably familiar with the anti-masculinity agenda that most politicians, the media, and the entertainment industry try to carry out despite the fact that at the end of the day, most politicians, the media, and the entertainment industry tried to carry out despite the fact that at the end. In these times of madness, ideology and propaganda are considered more important than logic and facts, despite the fact that we are supposedly living in the golden age of science and innovation. In addition to this reality, society excuses women for being jealous, judgmental, rude and demanding, while men are encouraged to accept a check from a woman no matter how ugly she is. The media and even parents have led men to believe that women are perfect angelic beings who are deserving of adoration. However, underneath the surface, many beautiful women have rotten, bitter, and unhappy souls, and instead of healing, they keep blaming external agents as if they were children. However, deep down they know they are the only ones to blame because they haven't improved themselves and just focused on jobs they didn't really like. Of course, I'm not referring to I'm referring to women who have everything handed to them on a silver platter, enjoy quotas and a judicial system that favors them, and yet continue to claim they are oppressed. Ignore these women as soon as possible. I'm begging you, if you ever are on a date and notice she has this attitude, otherwise known as this obvious red flag, say goodbye politely like a gentleman and don't accept her into your life. She will surely cause more problems than she solves. In point of fact, this is one of the reasons why men are leaving the dating scene. They do so because they already have too much to deal with at the workplace to tolerate trivial arguments at home and an unsupportive entitled partner. As a natural and understandable consequence, men are going their own way and living happier than ever before, free from lawsuits and unnecessary problems unstable women bring to the table. Get out of there as soon as you can and start embracing MGTOW in order to live your greatest life. I recently came across a Washington Post article titled, Why Can't We Hate Men? Link in the description where a woman by the name of Susanna, director of the Department of Gender Studies at Northeastern University, explained why it is okay to hate men as a whole. She is not even referring to abusive husbands, bettas, cowards, or molesters, all of whom I certainly loathe. Rather, she is referring to the male gender in its totality. As an example, her disdain for men stems from the fact that important men in Hollywood, in particular those who have been labeled predators, have been responsible for a great deal of harm to defenseless women before anybody could construct a straw man argument. She is claiming that she despises men due to characters like some famous people in Hollywood, especially Predator, and she is saying this before anyone can come up with a straw man argument. This movie is not going to show you the seedier side of the entertainment industry because that is not its objective. These men are revolting, and they should all be locked up. Therefore, allow me to return to the article and quote some of Susanna's previous work. Words pretty much everywhere in the world. This is true women are underrepresented in higher wage jobs, local and federal government business educational leadership. Wage inequality continues to permeate every economy in almost every industry as women continue to provide far higher rates of unpaid labor in the home, at child care, elder care, care for disabled individuals, housework, and food provision. Women have less access to education, particularly at the higher levels women have lower rates of property ownership. What she says about college education demonstrates that she is completely out of her mind and living in a world that does not exist anymore. In actuality, women have great access to higher education, and in fact, women outnumber men in the college system overall. If women intend to choose degrees or jobs that aren't that risky or that profitable, that's a different story. And as a result, you can't just say their inequality and leave it at that. It's crazy how these childish. What she says in the last paragraph is even more outrageous and cringeworthy. 
because she's just parroting the Matrix programming and not saying anything. She concluded after carefully researching data and facts, so men, if you really are with us and would like us to not hate you for all the millennia of woe you've produced and benefited from, start with this lean out so we can actually just stand up without being beaten down. Pledge to vote for feminist women only. Don't run for office. Don't be in charge of anything. Stay away from the power. We got this and please know that your crocodile tears won't be wiped away by us anymore. We have every right to hate you. You have done us wrong. Hashtag. Because patriarchy, it is long past time to play hard for team feminism and win. Jesus. She is, in fact, talking about and accusing all males, including those who live their lives without hurting anyone else. Work on their skills and just attempt to flourish in a culture in which everyone gets into positions of power and responsibility without any qualifications. The failure of society is inevitable. The same holds true with regard to race. Because if someone is competent enough, I don't care about their genetic or ethnic background, and I hire them right away because they will add value to my project. This may sound simple and ridiculously obvious, but contemporary women like Susanna don't seem to understand it, despite the fact that they have higher degrees. Ignore these ladies and do not let them into your life. They are the ones that make fun of men whose occupations are unorthodox or who work in agriculture, while they sip their Starbucks lats and despise capitalism. You should keep these women out of your life and not let them in. Turn off the news, and if you ever come across propaganda such as this, avoid engaging in debates because the people who spread it won't reason at all. Instead, they will defend their positions and come up with narratives that, contrary to what most people believe, have nothing to do with the real world. In particular, MGTOW ignores women who believe in this BS and want to force men to do things. I strongly encourage you to embrace MGTOW, even in monk mode, and build a life for yourself while these modern women are deeply depressed and other men want to give away their power. Let me know your thoughts. I wish you tremendous success now that it's your turn. What do you think? Have you ever met a woman who hated men? And if so, what were their reasons? Tap the thumbs up button. If you like this story and the message it conveyed, please subscribe and leave a comment below letting me know that you did so. I will then respond to your comment. Please also leave a comment below indicating that you want more stories like this one to be published.